go. Are you ready for it? My name is Dylan Simon. I attend the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. I'm a Shepherd Pro. My major is Business Administration. And this is my story. I'm from the Commonwealth of Dominica. And um, it's a nice island. Uh, the lifestyle is like a very simple. Um, there's no like, a bunch of highways, uh, you know, vehicles. I mean, um, I was a customs officer before I came here. And my life was pretty much work, get a paycheck at the end of the month, train travel for, for the country and then I'll enjoy myself on the weekends with my friends so when I came here it was you know like a, kind of like a culture shock I had to change everything because here it's like you know it's way different I, I used to be a street basketball with my friends nothing serious and I was kind of like a, a rebel kind of troublesome in high school and one day my principal he came to the class and he was talking about there's this sec athletic championships coming up and he was like Simon I'm tired of you being lazy so I'm gonna put you in the meat. So I was like, I was, you know, I shrugged my shoulders. Like, okay, I didn't really take it that serious. I, I didn't know what track and field was. So do y'all all practice together? Y'all all practice together? This area, this mat, this is where all the fur was spent there. Free time. Alright, this is our sanctuary. <laughs> After we train hard, we come here to relax and to recuperate and to recharge for the next session of training. <laughs> right here. Um, it's very difficult trying to balance school and training athletics, but I still managed to get a 3.9 GPA. It's all about being independent and knowing what you have to do at what time. Time management, like, you know, a lot of people would have stuff to do, but it's like because of peer pressure and all that kind of stuff, um, they might leave it for another day or just not do it entirely. But for me, it's like when I tell myself I have to do this at that time, then I pretty much do it regardless of if my friends want to ask me to go to this party or um, hang out and stuff like that. I say, no, my work comes first. And as, as far as training is concerned, those are like the training and school is like the two main things. Like I have to get them out of the way first. Like I always find some way to train and then go and do my schoolwork and then still get, a, get good grades in the end. I don't know how I do it, but I do it. So it's all about making it work. So that, that, that's how I did it. Right? I don't really tend to look at a lot of individual prizes like that. It's like I look at a bigger picture, which is um, world Championships, you know, Olympics. So when I set myself to to try to achieve that high goal, then any other goals below it becomes a little bit easier to get. So right now I'm trying to go to um, nationals. I'm going from strength to strength each season. Uh, I'm just trying to be patient, trying to keep fit, and to go training every day. It just became natural over time. For some reason, like I couldn't really tell myself to quit. There's like in my blood to keep going pretty much like I never told myself okay I'm gonna stop doing this because it's the same for me it's like once I started doing track after the, um, the meet it's like something told me that I just stick with it I don't know what did but I just I just stuck with it if I stop doing track that's like a part of my life that's pretty much done so it's like it's kind of difficult to see myself like that. I'm Dylan, this was my story, and you just watch it on Discover UMS. <laughs>